some somewhat sad news. And uh, I wish Ian was not ill to talk about this because, you know, we, we joke about Zack Snyder in the past, you know, ruining the DC movie universe. And in my opinion, he's done a good job not to represent it well. But this is sad news. And I think I feel like I don't want to avoid this information just because, you know, if we if we took shots at the guy in the past professionally, we should at least at least show respect, at least personally when it comes to this. But uh, Zack Snyder stepped down from the Justice League film, which is in post-production, uh, because unfortunately his uh, his daughter committed suicide. Uh, his daughter um, was about 20 years old. So he had to step down. Uh, he tried to, uh, to, to his either credit or to his detriment, try to get over a tragic loss of a family member by trying to work on through post-production. Uh, because this has been this has been edited for a while. There are some reshoots planned for Justice League. Um, and it's it's not clear whether or not it's because people don't like the cut or or, or Zack Snyder's work. But uh, Joss Whedon, who directed Avengers one and two, is going to step in to help finish do the reshoots and also to uh, do the post production work, which is you know it's probably at least four or five more months left because this isn't coming out until uh, later in the year and what November seventeenth. Joss uh, went from the Marvel universe to the DCU. He's going to do a Batgirl movie. Um, he's done a good job. I think with the Avengers movies, pretty good job. He's probably a, a, the perfect person to step in. Um, he's probably, you know, dealt with Zach in terms of the lead up to this, but now being part of the, you know, the DC movie universe. Again, it's a tragic situation. I know we, we joke about Zack Snyder in the past. Ian said some stuff, um, that could be construed as, well, he personally hates the guy at the end of the day. No one, uh, wishes this much ill will on someone. Um, when it comes to dealing with a, a, a tragic death, um, a tragic death, and I think we don't realize or take for granted uh, how much time and and stress and energy and and blood, sweat, and tears go goes into producing a movie of this magnitude and the pressure that the person is under. Whether or not you agree with how well uh, Batman v Superman came out. Um, and I, and from all intents and purposes, it, it, and I will see it eventually, but it, it looked like a, just a train wreck, whether or not, you, whether or not that's true, no one will deny the fact that the amount of energy and effort that goes into producing these films. And when it's something like this or star Wars, you give away, you give up two years of your life to these projects almost every freaking day from finishing up the script, casting, pre-production work, art design. Working with the CG artists up front, and you know about what's needed uh, for set pieces, um, choreographing, uh, you know fight scenes, having the actors come in, working with them before. And this is all before you're even shooting the fucking film. And what a what a you know two to three month, sometimes four month process that is when you're shooting a movie this big, working you know seven days a week. You're working 14, 15 hour days or sometimes more, sometimes 20 hour days. And then once the movie's finished, you're going into the editing room and you're dealing with that and CG work and working with those guys, then the reshoots and then you're doing that and then you're still editing and then you're working with the composer and then you're doing the, you know, you're doing the, the month and a half of, you know, you think you're done. Then you got to promote the movie and do all the interviews and fly around the world. And this, this is, I'm not saying this is, you know, feel sorry for these people they chose it, but it's grueling work. So in the midst of all this, there's a tragedy. And, and and Zack Snyder said, I decided to take a step back from the movie to be with my family, be with my kids who really need me. And that's a tough call. Because uh, you think you can get lost in your work and, 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 you know, get away from the tragedy. But, you know, th that could be, maybe it's better you just, you know, give it up. Give up this work you've been doing for a while and then go back to your family because that's what matters at the end of the day. This movie doesn't fucking matter. I know, I know me and Ian rail about, you know, the DC Universe, um, Suicide Squad, Batman v Superman, how dark everything is. At the end of the day, it, it's frivolous when it comes to real, you know, real family matters here, a personal loss. You know, if another fucking DC movie never came out again in the grand scheme of things, it wouldn't affect anything. So, we've had our rough times, Zack Snyder and the CU Podcast. We absolutely uh, have had rough times. Hopefully, you know, it was all in good fun. You know, we, we didn't wish anything bad on a person to happen. 
We, we didn't wish something bad to happen. And there were assholes out there that were glad this happened because then he's off the project. Just f- don't, don't, don't fucking go there. This is a real person you're talking about dealing with family tragedy. Um, he tried to keep this uh, private. And then it, it's come out because he, you know, he, he, had, he finally decided to leave uh, the film. This happened, I think, a couple months ago. So the fact that he tried to keep it private to me is mind-blowing. But obviously he needed a, way, a reason to step away from the project. And this is it. So, uh, Autumn, his daughter, is gone. It's from his first marriage. And um, hopefully he heals. Hopefully his family um, can heal from this. Hopefully he can heal and hopefully he can move on and come back in the future to direct. So, um, uh, here, here's to you, Zack Snyder. I, I, hope this, uh, I hope this isn't as bad as what it seems like it is. And hopefully in the future... You know, you'll direct something that I'll be looking out for that I can help, you know, not promote, but at least, you know, give my give my stamp of approval to it. And I'm sure Ian feels the same way.